So let me do a paste here. So let's do the ad. If I click this, it's, it's not going to work. So why it is not working, I'm going to show you that. It is looking for 84234, which is not actually available. So in case, uh, if you're using VirtualBox, right? So a local VM machine, what you need to do, uh, I'm going to take another shell. So what you need to do, type this command SSH hyphen ML. And my, in my case, my machine is remote. I'm going to do, uh, I'm going to use the password behind the machine IP. So machine IP, okay. Uh, I'm going to do, so if config.me, I forget the IP. So, um, Okay, this is IP version six address and okay, uh, okay. Um, if config will show the local addresses. So let me do one stop here. Exit, exit, and this is the one which I need to actually check. Right, I'm going to copy this guy. Right, copy this and paste it. And what I need to do locally, right? I'm going to type this same port eight four three. Why I'm doing that, I'm going to show you as well. So let's do that. Bring this guy in. So A443 is going to ask the password. And in your case, might be um, the file, PAM file, right? You can do that. So let's try to um, reconnect with this guy. So you see, it seems to be working now. And it is going to bring the cluster locally in my kind. And uh, I should be able to see uh, my working node. So if I click this cluster, and I just want to pin this guy locally here, as you see. So I do have my cluster available locally in my machine through SSH externally, right? So regarding the file, I just need to show you. If I scroll it up, you see. It is actually looking for 8443, the server is going to uh, access this and uh, we have done as uh, make that port locally available to SSH channel. That's why that is how it is working. Similar stuff, you can do that. So another stuff uh, I need to show you, um, this is my uh, local box, sandbox box, which is the Tasm desktop, which uh, I've already created with regard to that. Uh, what I'm going to do, uh, I'm going to, first of all, uh, now this part is done, okay, regarding the cluster setup, everything. Now I'm going to navigate into um, uh, ingress part, right? And I'm going to do, um, I mean, uh, First of all, let me exec into my um, container, right? So sudo su. So this is mounted um, outside my you know sandbox, but I need to bring that cluster in this. So if I do, you currently we don't have any file in there. If I do, if I do QTDL get node, you will see nothing here because uh, we don't have any stuff. So what I'm going to do, um, I'm going to uh, I'm going to add this, right? So if I do nano I config, and I'm going to click this guy and navigate back, right? And Simply copy this guy, deal here, right, and paste, paste this guy here. Press Control S for save and X and Control X. Okay, yes, and double check it if it saves it or not. And if I do kubectl get notes, it is not working. Why it is not working? Because we are inside the container, right? And what we need to do, do the same stuff to the port already. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to use the Tmux. I'm going to create one session. Uh, Tmux uh, create uh, as for session. And um, and um, session name is going to be less kind. Okay, uh, I should type uh, Tmux new instead of creates. My bad. Let's say it's Tmux new session s for session, and I'm going to uh, use the same command which I've done here. So I'm going to bring that guy inside the container as well. So why I'm doing that? I just want to use the Linux box to run my commands to interact with that cluster. I'm going to press yes, and I'm going to provide the password. Right? Then I need to do. I'm going to press Control D and D for detach. Right. Control V, lift your hands, press D for detach, and do the same command to get the nodes. You see, I'm able to see all my nodes locally inside the cluster. So let me navigate back to um, slash MNT, right? So that's now what I'm going to do. Uh, I'm going to simply navigate into my, uh, I mean, uh, repository. And uh, what you need to do, uh, simply navigate to this section, click this guy, HTTPS, clone this guy locally. And uh, if I do LS, let me show you. Currently, I don't have any stuff here because this is mounted outside, right? And you see nothing here, and I'm going to simply do cloning and do clone. Right, so let's clone that. So it is not available. And this I need to show you that it is mounted. You see, it is not available. So anyway, what we are going to do, we are going to cd into hell, right? If I do ls here and cd into ingress, all you need to do simply do kubectl, kubectl, apply, icon f, kind ingress. Uh, what it does, uh, if everything goes well, uh, it's going to install the index controller for us and let's see and i'm going to show you this stuff in lens as well and let it create click this guy and uh, i should be able to see namespace might uh, it might uh, give us an error but let's see how things goes well okay and i click this guy and okay um, click this and i should be able to see one forward Okay. 
the QTTL, get thoughts. In all namespaces, I'm going to check with the CLI. Okay, and you see the namespace uh, in the next ingress is created, might be it is not reflecting here. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to do uh, disconnect and try to connect again. Okay, so click this guy and uh, this is the namespace, right? And our ingress controller is set up, right? So maybe I was missing that one. Uh, anyway, uh, this is working fine. You can check the logs. Now what we're going to do, we can set up in the three application, as I discussed in the start of the video, we are going to use algorithm ranges, and it is actually the looping. So uh, what you need to do, uh, see back here and uh, in the loops, I've already created one uh, parent chart, right? And um, let's try to create one application with the custom values, and I'm going to show you what we are actually doing here. So I'm going to say Helm um, namespace, uh, let's say call this test one, right? Um, operate, and that's dash install, right? Uh, name of the chart is going to be, let's say, my apps, right? And I'm going to, um, the namespace is not available, so I'm going to, let's say, create the edge namespace. Let me, okay. And uh, the values file, uh, you can use this way or you can create the edge values. So I'm going to create these custom.yml. So let's try to create. And, okay. Um, I need to check the help namespace, upgrade edge install, my apps. Uh, might be this man is uh, wrong. Let me, let me double check from, uh, a section right and uh, edit all the commands definitely mm, do forget so file name should in dash dash create namespace so it should be it should be dash 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 create namespace so this like was actually uh, incorrect so let's try to run this particular command and it is installing my apps so uh, what it does currently we don't have any namespace with the test one so what it does uh, it is going to um, it is going to create one namespace test one so bring that guy in so currently what it is doing with single hand chart, we are actually um, spin up three application. So if I navigate from the UI, so okay, let me scroll it up and in the loop section, right? And first of all, I'm going to show you the custom values and then we're going to see the other stuff. So guys, in custom values.yml, so guys, what I'm doing, I'm going to look uh, through all the deployments in a single hand chart. So deployment one is going to be the Nginx with the latest image. And the deployment two is going to be um, using this uh, image. Right, and the latest tag, and we're currently going to use this image. Right, we have three services, and the default image is going to be in the next uh, tag with Alpine. So, uh, if I scroll it back in the values.yml, we're going to uh, use the ingress. So, and the ingress class is going to be um, in the next, right? So, uh, these are the default values, but you need to focus uh, like uh, ingress enable and ingress class name, right? So, regarding all the commands, uh, let me show you this file as well. So, you can type um, QTTL get ingress class, right? You see, then uh, ingress class is in the next. So that, uh, I mean, is going to install the uh, English class. And we have provided that. And if I scroll it down, so I, I'm using uh, this app.devops game.local. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to copy this guy, right? If you're Windows or if you're using Linux, what you need to do, you need to update your um, ETC host file, right? And uh, let's say I'm using Windows. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to type uh, notepad here. And I'm going to click right click and run as administrator, right? Click this, press yes, scroll it down. So um, this is the host uh, file, ETC host file. And the path is uh, is going to be uh, in your Windows System 32 drivers etc host, right? So what I need to do, I need to uh, I need to put the IP address right, and then this DNS name. What is the IP? IP address of my in your case is going to be your IP address of the virtual box or virtual uh, machine, right? So this is the IP in my case. I'm going to copy this guy, right? And um, I'm going to I'm going to paste this guy here, right? So let's do that. Press Control V. Press Control X. So if I copy this guy and Try to access this guy. I'm going to open one browser in my container, right? Right. So it is showing me the in the next uh, page. If I do refresh multiple times, you see the other application is coming. And if I do refresh again, the other application is coming. So what's happening? It is actually doing the ingress is doing the load balancing. So if I do uh, a scroll up, I'm going to show you why it is uh, showing the three application. If I scroll it uh, down, first of all, uh, I just want to show you the deployments. If you see, uh, we have three deployments, right? And I'm going to only uh, like this namespace test, so you will have better understanding. You see deployment one, deployment two, we are, we are doing the looping. And um, if you uh, try to describe this, it has, uh, I mean, image, and I'm going to, we have three uh, deployments. Let me show you from the, you see every deployment has one pod, right? And from the pod, I just want to show you the images. So if I scroll it down, right, in the image section, you will see one image is going to be uh, in the next default. So pulling image in the next default, right? So this is the one which is active, and you will uh, see this image is, uh, you know, pulled. See second deployment, scroll it down, and 
um, this is the mage. It is using QuickBooks uh, 2018 Blue. That is, and the other third permit um, is going to use this mage, right? And definitely it is going to pull that. These are the public images. That is why it's pulling. Now we're going to get to the services. Actually, services uh, actually pointing to in the in the Helm chart. If I scroll it up, you will see that uh, the service one is actually um, okay. Let me show you uh, the values, right? So uh, in here, I defined uh, overwrite pull uh, pull and overwrite. So what it does, it is going to uh, look for this service, but we are actually seeing all three services. Why is that? Because um, if you see this service is pointing to test one, and we have three services available: service one, two, and service three. And you see, it is pointing to uh, different IPs. But if you see the endpoints, it is it will it is actually accessing all those ports. You see, uh, service one has three IPs. Service two has all these three IPs as above. Service three, uh, I mean, service three has all the same IPs because uh, we are using the selector, and selector is the same which we have mentioned. So if you see from the uh, like. Uh, now we get back to the template section, click this guy in the deployment, right? So what we are doing here, actually, we are using this labels, right? And this label has full name override. So we have given the full name override. Uh, and we are doing the or looping. For looping, we are using the range, right? What it does, it will loop if the values uh, dot uh, YAML, I mean, what it does, it is going to loop through uh, the deployment. And what it does with a single um, having chart is going to do, um, create the loops. And let me show you the stuff, for instance, uh, what we have done. You need to see the template as well. So uh, what I'm going to sh show you, uh, Helm template command, Helm template uh, hyphen f custom values dot yaml. So if you scroll it up, you will have better understanding. You scroll it up, right? So with a single hand chart, what you, we are doing here, you see, um, this is the template service one yaml, and this is the full name we have actually provided in the uh, labels. So service one plus the type IP or protocol full name selector is you see uh, service one, and service two is going to be uh, I mean service name is going to be service two, but if you see the selector is full name, and that is why we have the same selector available. And if it's looking through the same level, that's why all services has the IP, and that is how we are able to uh, do the load balancing through ingress, right? I hope you get the understanding. And if you see the deployment and later on this the ingress, and this is the ingress part we are actually uh, performing. So similar stuff is actually happening in the deployment three. Uh, like you know, it is going to use the same selector service one, but different images. You see QuickBooks 2018 slash green, and uh, this is a different image, right? So. Uh, that's how it is working and uh, that is how guys you can set up your quick local environment uh, i showed you how you can set up the ingress and uh, how you can quickly set up um, the i mean free application and we have discussed the help uh, help looking or ranges if you like the video please like share and subscribe to the channel thank you very much